Hello YouTube, Geneva here with um, a haul. Um, this is like my fifth haul and like a month and a half and I'm really sorry. No, I'm not. I'm happy I got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I usually don't. I'm not able to get stuff and so I just thought it was cool that I can get more stuff and do a haul. And there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to do a haul because I wanted to show you guys a couple of things because I got, you know, like one or two things from the new collections that are out. Um, my other haul video has a little bit more from the Mac Me Over collection. A lot of this stuff kind of looks a little, you know, I'm really finicky about my makeup. I like it to look different, so that's me. And, um, I finally got some Inglot stuff. I've been dying to get Inglot, and there's a store I live in West Palm Beach, and there's a store in Miami, and it's like an hour drive away. But I ordered some Inglot stuff online first. I got a 20 pan palette, and I bought four eyeshadows. And I knew that it was coming in the mail today, and so what I did was I drove down to the mall that has the Inglot store so that I can actually pick out eyeshadows. Good job with the noise. That was pretty bad. Um, sorry. That's okay. Anyhow. Um, is that cops? Oh, I thought I heard cops. Yo, I'm tripping. <laughs> Anywho, I don't know, for some reason it took me a really long time to, I don't know, get Inglot. Only because I, I, I just was so reluctant for some reason. I mean, I knew that there was a store that I could go to, but I don't know. I was just really reluctant. I don't know. I can't say why. Anywho, so I'm going to, I got some, I got a Inglot haul, Mac haul, and NYX haul. Um... I know that this is probably not going to be believed, but I do not buy makeup. Or I didn't buy makeup like that. I just recently started going crazy with makeup, and I don't know why. Well, I kind of do. I love makeup. And my desire and my, I don't know, obsession with makeup is just getting stronger and stronger. And so I have to satiate it by buying makeup. So without further ado, I'm going to start with my haul. And I'm going to start with the Inglot stuff first. So, the first thing that I got was um, this 20 pan palette, but I, I didn't fill it up all the way because I'm really picky about choosing colors, and so it's just really hard for me to, I don't know, decide exactly what I want, and I don't like to rush myself because I don't ever want to wind up getting something that is similar to what I have, and Inglot has, makes, their eyeshadows are amazing, they are highly pigmented. And um, the kind of shimmer effect that they use as opposed to like MAC shadows are phenomenal. I have, um, I have this shade and the shade on right now. So I have the bluer one in the lid and then this one in the crease. And this is amazing. These eyeshadows are amazing. What I did was I ordered the palette online and four of the eyeshadows online and then, um, Today, I went, actually drove all the way down to the Inglot store for where I live, and I picked up the rest of the eyeshadows, and I couldn't choose anymore, because I didn't know what else to get at the time, and I didn't want to overwhelm myself, so I just got these for now, and I'm going to definitely be filling the rest of these slots within, I don't know, probably the next couple weeks. So, I'm not going to swatch these because it's just going to take way too much time and I don't want to invest too much energy in this haul seeing as how this is like my gazillionth one so I already I labeled them in the back with what kind of eyeshadow they are and the number like you know an AMC or a matte or a DS which I don't even know what DS stands for yet but I have to figure that out and um that's just going to help me better for like when I use these for tutorials because I see a lot of people when they're using their ingot clothes for tutorials they're like oh you know I don't know what the color is but I'll get back with you or I'll put it in a little annotation on their video and so I figure I just you know kinda get myself ahead of the game there anywho when I ordered the ingot um, in the box they gave me two free samples of stuff they gave me a sample of their um, foundation and a sample of their base and I'm happy that they sent me this because I do want to try out their foundation it's always nice to have foundation varieties I'm 
I'm pretty, um, I'm, I'm pretty, um, loyal to, like, my MAC foundation. It's really hard for me to find something else, but I love MAC because of the formula and how it fits my face because my skin is really jacked up, but their coloring doesn't really match me. And so, um... I kind of, kind of get to that a little later in the haul. I kind of did something to fix that. But anyhow, my last thing from Inglot is number 77. And this is just, you know, the gel liner. I have it on right now. And I wanted to get some more of their gel liners. But I don't know. For some reason, I have this thing about colored gel liners. I just really like black. Just black liner with every look that I do. And I don't know why. But that's just how I like it. So, yeah. Anywho, moving on, I will do the NYX stuff next because it's not a lot. I got a blush, and it's one of their mosaic blushes. And I really, really like this color. This color is phenomenal to me. It's like a very coral orangey. Um, no matter how you swatch it or, like, mix it up, it's just going to come out the same color, honestly. So, that is the color. It's very... It's very really like pastel coral orangey with shimmer, and it's really nice. I really love this blush. <sighs> yeah. Anyhow. And then I got um, a glitter liner. Nothing special about that. This is Crystal Silver, and it's called Studio FX Dramatic Sparkle Liner. Very pretty, very nice. And then I got two lipsticks. So I got their Lip Smackin' Fun Colors. And I'm really into coral and purple lately. I have a lot of purple lipsticks. I don't know why. But yeah, this one is really pretty. It kind of looks like basic in the, um, it, yeah, it kind of looks sort of basic in the tube. But it's just really pretty. Um... I don't know. Can you see the prettiness of it? It's shimmery and it's like a kind of light pastel purple. And then the other NYX thing is this color and I don't even know what this is called. Labio? What the hell? No, that's not what it's called. That's some, that's a, wow. What the hell? Oh. This purple one's called Castle, and this one is called Vitamin. This one, when I first saw it, I was like in awe. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. And swatches. I can't see, man. Oh, my God. All right, so on to the MAC stuff. I got a lot of MAC stuff. What a shocker, right? <laughs> um... I guess the first thing that I can start out with is just this eyeshadow. I got Naval, which is a pro color. I got it online. It came in the mail yesterday. And I'm not going to swatch this color because you're not going to be able to see it. It kind of looks black, but it's just a very dark blue, like a navy blue. I guess that's maybe why it's called Naval. But it's kind of a navy blue, but it kind of has a purplish kind of tone to it as well. And this is a very nice color, and I think it's a matte squared, and so it's very pigmented, and it's just like, you know, just like a, a quick little, and it's just so pigmented, and it's so soft, too. That's what I really like about it. It's like super soft. So, got that. I got three things from the new Posh Paradise collection, which I really like. I like that new collection. It's freaking amazing. I got um, a lipstick called Fresh Amour, which I have on right now. And it's like this pastel purple, matte purple, and it's really, really nice. I'm loving this lipstick right now. Loving it. I'm not going to splash it because I have it on, so. And what else? What else? What else? What else? And then I got um, Half Wild, and this is a paint pot. And it's just purple, a purple shimmery paint pot. Of course, obviously I got it to use as a base. I don't have a purple base, so that's good. And then 
I got another paint pot called Pure Creation. I don't know why I leave this stuff in the box. I mean, I just bought this stuff like five hours ago, so I just left it in the box. This color is so freaking awesome. It's a really nice blue. And I will swatch it. Kind of just like a dark blue. This would be a good base for this navel color. Although this is a matte. Um, I found that using these paint pots, even though they're shimmery base, the color will still come out pretty matte. Which is fine. I needed a good blue base. I needed a good blue and purple base. I have a black one. And I have, you know, like I have Pink Chili and Bare Study. So I have my neutral bases and then my black one. And so, I'll probably, I don't know, hopefully in the next couple of, or next year or so, maybe they'll come out with, like, um, new paint pots with, like, newer collections or whatever. Because I really, there are a couple of other kind of color bases, paint pots that I need for bases. So, yeah. Um, what else did I get? I got something else from the um, MAC Me Over collection. It's a lip gloss. It's called Good Times. I really like this lip gloss. It's a, it's a very subtle, very, very subtle, like, pinkish purple. And, again, this is kind of like a pastel -y color. I don't know why. I'm kind of, I think I'm, like, subconsciously into pastel right now. But there it is right there. Very nice. Very, very nice. And I'm trying to do this haul kind of fast. I don't really, you know, I don't want to chew everybody's ear off about stuff, so patronizing I think anyway um what else did I get I got studio fix fluid and NC15 this is not my color um I kept on getting matched for NC25 which no I would I was like no I started getting mad at these people you know because I'm like an aspiring makeup artist, so I'm pretty good at knowing what the hell I'm talking about. But every time I would go to MAC, they kept on trying to match me for NC25. And I agree with the NC, but not the 25. My skin is not that dark. And that's not even like dark, but anyhow. So the reason why I got this is because I'm going to be mixing it in with um, some NC20 and, tr and color match myself better. Because, uh, for some reason, I don't know, even though it seems like with their Studio Fix Fluid, they have a lot of different colors, they, I just don't really think that they have enough that, to truly, um, give their customers enough options. And not that big of a deal. I don't care. I'll just, you know, mix my own. That's fine. And I bought a pump for it, so. Gotta have a pump, because it makes it better and easier. And then the next thing I got was um, Pro Longwear Concealer. I think that I have every concealer MAC makes. No, I don't have the one that comes in the paint pot looking jars. But other than that, I have Pro Longwear. I have Studio Finish Concealer. And Select Moisture Cover Up. So... I don't know why. I really wanted this one. Yeah, I know why. Because I think that this is going to be much better for under my eyes for me to lighten up. Because, um, what's this one? Select so Moisture Cover-Up. It wasn't really giving me the kind of coverage that I wanted under here. So, yeah. And this one, I mean, I stand by this. You know, the Studio Finish Concealer. I stand by this. I love this freaking thing. But this is NC20, which is my matched color anyway. But... This one I used to actually just cover up, like, my actual blemishes. And then this I would use for under my eyes. And that's why I got NW15 to help cover my dark circles under my eyes better. So, yeah. Studio or Pro Longwear Concealer. And I love that it's got a little pump. That's awesome. Um, what else did I get? I got... Um, select Sheer Loose Powder and NC5. And I just wanted, um, a loose powder from MAC. I was also going to get, um, a mineralized skin finish and a natural color to help set my makeup. So I can have different, you know, makeup setting options. But, um, 
I don't know. I chose this instead, and I'll probably get the mineralized skin finish later. But yeah, it's just a translucent setting powder. Nothing special about it. Well, I mean, it's special because it's MAC. How about that? <laughs> the last thing that I got from MAC was Complete Comfort Cream. And I've been hearing really good things about this. I have real, I get really bad dry patchy skin, especially like right here under here and right where my eyebrows are. And so it just creates the most horrible canvas for skin. And I've been hearing really good things about this as far as um, helping me to maintain my dry skin a little better. So I really hope that this is going to be beneficial for me. That concludes my haul. I know it was pretty fast, right? Which is good. Um, I guess I won't even bother because it hasn't gotten here yet. But I ordered um, a Sigma E25 brush, which is um, the duplicate for the 217 from MAC. I needed I needed two 217s, but I wasn't going to buy another MAC one. Um, I hear good things about the Sigma. I mean, I have a couple Sigma brushes that I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I know the Sigma brushes are good, so I'll settle for that one. So instead of just, you know, I'll just like throw that in there for haul purposes. So uh, I guess that's it. I'm going to do a tutorial on this look in a little while. So look out for that video if you like the makeup. And uh, I don't know, if you have any questions, please leave comments below, all that good stuff. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.